All right, this morning I'm not really shed hunting. I just want to show you one wallow here next to Milligan Peak. It's another one. It's on the, I call it the Loose Ranch Wallow. So it's on the northwest side of the Milligan Peak area. I'll give you the exact GPS coordinates. So I'm just going to hike up there, show you the wallow, and come back. i got to go cut wood today, so I don't have much time. All right. I'll start hiking up to the wall. I'm working my way up, but it's just a cool sight. I love it when the mountains stick above the clouds. That's towards Indian Pink. Right below me is Loose Ranch. A very, very neat sight. This is Loose Ranch Wallow is what I call it. It's only about less than a mile from the road. It's steep to get up here, but it's close to the road, and that's one reason I like it. I've sat this wallow before. Me and my brother-in-law about three years ago went up here to place a camera, and we checked the camera up here. And some of the bear come in here, and one of the biggest white tail I ever caught on camera came in right here. It's an easy wallow to get to right here. I'll give you the GPS coordinates. I don't think very many people know about it. Or at least one other person does. But besides that, I don't think hardly anyone ever comes up there. Milligan Lakes on the map, it's more popular. But this one is a little more isolated. I just got lucky and found it shed hunting. So this is a great little walla if you're sitting for a tree or just want to hunt this area. Because this is one spot where they could get water without going down to the river. And during the rut, they could roll in it. So awesome little wallow. I'll show you a close-up. Um, lots of water in it right now. We've been getting some good rain and it should hold water most of the monsoon season. Last time I was here in October and it still had water. During the snow melt, this whole thing's like a little lake. It's all covered in water. But it's a perfect little spot. And there's some bulls in here. That year I took my brother-in-law in here. He shot a Pretty decent bull, 300-ish or bigger, up here right in this area. So it's a great little wallow, and I'll give you the GPS coordinates. Also, real quick, the thing is, um, I may come up here and sit and see if I could catch some animals on here at this wallow so you know it's coming in one day, it's closer towards the fall. But in Arizona, it is against law to use cameras for hunting even though I keep running into them if people aren't following that law. So you can't use a camera at all these little spots anymore, which is some people like it, some people hate it. I like just having cameras out to see what's there, but I would use them for hunting too. So, But I may come up here and just sit some mornings and days and see if I could, because it's easy to get to, see if we could find out what's using this area. Hey, look at that. I wasn't expecting to find any, but it looks like a brown. Doesn't look big, but hey, still good. I just wanted to walk this one little big bench. I usually find antlers up a little higher, but I don't have time, so. But, awesome. Yeah, it's broke, but it's a brown. Not bad. I'll look around, see if there's other halves here, but I have had no luck finding matching pairs this year. So there's a couple of nice game trails that would lead you up there to those benches and then you just kind of work your way to that wallow. You just got to find one of those game trails because it's steep and also use the game trails. Fresh white tail tracks. I just saw one. Actually, I've seen two. But... I just found this really old shed as I was getting ready to cross the creek right here down by Campbell Blue. All right, I'm back. Two antlers, one brown, one chalk. Showed you the wallow, loose ranch wallow. It was about a two mile hike. I wandered around a little bit. It's under a mile there and under a mile back. So my wandering around made it about two miles. Um, I still might have some pictures I'll look and see. So I could show you some animals that were coming into that back when I had a camera there. But I don't have any from this year. Like I said, it's against the law. All right, 
I'll see y'all later. I gotta go show you the south side of Milligan Peak still, maybe this week. There's a couple of wallows and a trick tank over there. First, let me map this out for you real quick. That's the Blue Road. I've been going down farther. This time I turned on Loose Ranch Road. I parked right here. This is Loose Ranch. And all I did was go up this side. And that wallow is right in here on these benches. And then I went down. So that's really easy from the road, right there by the road. 